And today I'm going to be bringing you the best pizza in Las Vegas. I cannot think of a better place to do that than here at the Las Vegas Pizza Festival, located in the industrial event space. 19 of the best pie parlors are here. We are going to walk around, try them out slice for slice, and at the end, I'll let you know some of my favorites. Can I eat 19 pieces of pizza today? We're going to find out. Once you get your tickets to Pizza Fest, if you get a VIP ticket, you're going to be able to go inside the industrial event space where they actually have four local breweries and a winery there where you can sample out all their delicious beers and wines. Something about beer and pizza together just makes my inner frat boy very happy. Can you take me higher? All right, our first slice, it came to us. We walked by, he's lighting peppers on fire. This is Carmine's. They have four locations in Las Vegas. Not to be confused with the Carmine's in the forum shops. This is Carmine's Pizza Kitchen. Named after his pop. Looks amazing, let's give it a go. It's a fluffy, thick crust, but the sauce is really coming through. The sauce has really excellent tomato flavor. Fresh peppers on top, sausage. A nice, like, thick, pillowy slice. Different from some of the other slices I've had in Vegas. Mm. Handy beer pocket. Go there. Okay. Had to stop at the Super Frico booth. Super Frico is the psychedelic American supper club inside of the Cosmopolitan. Made it into my 10 best restaurants list because it's awesome. Their pizza has a Frico crust, which means they bake cheese into the outside of the crust. Let's give it a shot. So delicious. It's just like baked cheese all on the outside. Really nice tomato sauce on this one. They also have a pepperoni slice that you can pour honey on, which is really, really awesome. This is their OG cheese and it's delish. So we had to stop at one of our favorites, Pizza Rock, right by the Downtown Grand, Downtown Las Vegas. This is the Chicago land. There is basil, pepperoni, sausage, fresh tomato on here. They kill it with their crust. Let's see if they're good today. Pizza Rock makes such freaking good pizza, you guys. The basil on here is super sweet. They nail it with their crust. It's just that perfect, thin, crispy. You kind of get that gritty cornmeal in there too. Just like very even, consistent slice all the way through. All of the pieces work together. Pizza Rock's really great, guys. Okay, good pie. Definitely one of our favorites. This one's in the Arts District. Kind of an underrated part of Las Vegas. This is the upside down grandma. So it's sausage, parsley, pecorino. Looks really good, it smells incredible. The sausage is these teeny tiny crumbles all over the top of the pie. So when you bite it, you're getting that, pe that sausage in every single bite. And then that parsley is just that little nice fresh element. The pie is really good, consistent slice. I love this place. They actually have one of these located inside Ellis Island. This one's a sausage and pepperoni, but what's special is it's got Mike's Hot Honey on it. If you've never put honey on pepperoni pizza, you're missing out. It is so good, and this is a spicy honey. This is huge. I have no idea how I'm going to eat this. Here we go. I'm covered in it at this point, but oh man. The honey is such a good addition. The pepperoni cups are so nice and crispy. It's a fluffy, like thicker, doughy crust, but then you have that really delicious sweet honey, but then it's got a kick at the end. This slice rocks. Really good. All right, we're gonna try Cetabello. This is in Henderson. This is a porchetta, fontina, and caramelized onion. 
Wow, let's give it a shot. Wow, yum. More of a chewy crust, but thin. And that cheese, that fontina, coming through so, so strong. Absolutely delicious. The porchetta is fresh. This is like a high end, like elevated slice. This is really nice. Okay, we had to stop at Evil Pie. They actually won Best of Vegas this year. Located in the Fremont East District, kind of right by El Portez, right past the Fremont Street Experience. Evil Pie is an Evil Knievel themed restaurant. They have a lot of really cool specialty slices and it's like a great cheap slice if you're hungry at late at night. Pepperoni. The thing I love about Evil Pie's pizza is how cohesive it is. You don't just taste one of the elements. The whole thing together is what makes the pizza so good. Every bite is like really consistent. This one you're getting that strong pepperoni flavor, but that crust is real crispy and nice, but still floppy. Kind of a weird balance to have. One of my favorite slices in Vegas for sure. This might have to be the last slice. I don't know if I can do any more. We had to stop at Esther's Kitchen. I have been meaning to check this restaurant out. I've heard amazing things. This is a pine nut and kale pizza. Looks incredible. The crust looks gorgeous. This was perfect to finish out because this is a totally different flavor profile slice. Got the kind of pesto flavor from the pine nut. Got that kind of funk. You're almost getting a truffle flavor here. Wow. If their other food is like this, then yeah, Esther's is, is killing it. This is amazing. Woo, can't waste it. All right, you guys. So I was able to try 10 out of the 19 booths. I don't think that's too bad. I am so full. I wanted to give you guys my favorite along with some honorable mentions. So a new place we tried that we hadn't tried before was Women in Pizza and their margarita slice was really fresh and delicious. I love Super Frigo's crust. They have the best crust out of any of the pizzas we tried today. But honestly, as far as my favorite goes, I'm gonna have to give it to Pizza Rock. They just absolutely nailed their slice. They were sweet, it was spicy, their crust is incredible. All of the booze were really delicious that we tried today, but I also noticed they did not have one of our other favorites in Vegas, which is Secret Pizza. So I highly recommend you guys check that one out if you're in the Cosmopolitan. Honestly, you guys, the turnout of this event was incredible. What an amazing thing happening in Vegas. We will absolutely be back next year to check it out. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.